Hello YouTube, this is Cyber Aquarius, and in this video I wanted to talk with you and do a quick overview of Marine Pure's 1.5 inch ceramic spheres biomedia. It's manufactured right here in the USA by Cermedia LLC in Buffalo, New York, and it's recommended for freshwater, pond, and marine aquatic environments. So it has everybody in our hobby covered. Um, I thought I was through with the the media for my 150 gallon African cichlid aquarium but what I wanted to do was uh, maintain or preserve my beneficial bacteria during a power outage so I was looking at battery backup systems and they're really expensive uh, for a unit that would run just my pump alone uh, you know keeping the water flowing through my media uh, the cheapest one I found was about $450 and it would only last uh, allow my pump to stay running for another hour and a half and if I had a th you know power outage up to three hours it's really you know just uh, a mute moot point so uh, I started looking into this marine pier um, there's two things that are great about it uh, first is the amount of surface area that each sphere is claimed to have uh, and the second thing is the wetting properties of this type of media. Uh, we'll talk about the surface area, but first I want to go ahead and set out a typical bio ball on this napkin. You can see as I pull it out of the water, a couple drops fall off of it. Some of them are on my, my thumb. But I'm going to go ahead and set it here on this napkin. And the marine pier, I'm going to pull it out of the water. See the water pouring out of it? I'm going to set it on this napkin while we talk about the surface area and then we'll compare how much water uh, is leached out of each one of these. Um, the company claims that each sphere, I'll show it to you here on the box, the surface area per sphere is 22 meters squared or 240 square foot. That's per sphere, not per box. Um, a typical bio ball such as this has a surface area of 21 and a half square feet per gallon. A gallon of these compared to one of these, the the marine pier has uh, basically 11 times more surface area per sphere than an entire gallon of bio balls. And I counted the number of spheres that came out of this two quart box. I bought four quarts because I needed two gallons. There were 38 spheres in one two-quart box. I did the math. You can do the math yourself. But 38 spheres at 240 square foot. That's a surface area of 9,120 square foot per half gallon or two quarts. And with four, four uh, boxes, two quarts, which would be eight quarts, do the math and you'll see that it would be 36,480 square foot for two gallons or eight quarts. Uh, I bought this at bulkreefsupply.com and you'll mm -hmm. see that the two quart boxes are $49.99 and if you buy three or more you can get it for $46.99 a box and I bought four so I got each box at $46.99 a one gallon box is $94.99 and you'd have to buy three or more to uh, get it discounted at $89.99 so if you only need two gallons or less I mean and you need to buy three three boxes at least it com comes out cheaper to buy the two quart boxes all right let's look at the the wetting properties of the typical bio ball I don't know if you can see the amount of water that was released from it and now let's take a look at the the marine pier look I mean the water is all the way out to here and the bio ball is just water right up underneath it so I mean it's true what they say that the uh, the marine pier does hold more water than a typical bio ball and what that means is during a power outage the beneficial bacteria that are colonizing these uh, this type of media will stay wet longer during a power outage than a regular bio ball. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to be placing this in my sump to, uh, to 
help me during a power outage and we'll go ahead and take a look at my sump at this time. The first thing that I need to do is determine the normal operating water level in my sump which is right here just above the matrix keeping it submerged 100% of the time and during normal operation if my water level in my sump drops any lower than that level below the float sensor my auto top off will turn on filling the uh, sump back up to that level maintaining that that level in the sump so now what I need to do is to determine where the water level will be during a power outage so at this time I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my return pump Once the water quits overflowing into the sump, it'll show me where the water level will be during a power outage. Okay, it's right here. And the bio balls that are exposed to the air, they could dry out in a matter of a couple hours. So during a power outage, it could kill off the beneficial bacteria that's growing on those bio balls above the water surface. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and remove all the bio balls that are exposed to the air and replace them with the marine pure. Okay, I've placed four quarts or one gallon per compartment of the marine pure for a total of two gallons of marine pure, six gallons of bio balls, and eight liters of Seachem's matrix. The matrix alone is capable of supporting 400 to 800 gallons of a bio load. The bio balls, six gallons of bio balls, are capable of supporting 225 gallons. And the marine pier, I'll have to do the math and I'll post it in the description as to how much of a bio load that it can support. But the bio balls should stay wet during a power outage as well as the matrix. And the Marine Pure, due to its water retention characteristics, should stay moist for up to a day or more, uh, from what people are saying. So it should be good there, preserving the beneficial bacteria. I uh, hope to have another video made by Monday of my custom-built canopy. I've been working on it uh, near completion. Uh, just I don't really have time to work on it all day. I got kids, but. I hope to have it um, completed by Monday and have a video posted of it. So I hope to have this aquarium set up really soon, uh, either this coming weekend or the following weekend. So guys, I uh, appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. And this is Cyber Aquarius saying have a good day.